This session is going to be about how to delete files. Why do you want to delete files? Well, maybe it's to free up space in your computer. And how do you want to delete files? Well, I'll talk some in here about how to do that efficiently. Before we get into the how or the why, let's clear up one common misconception. A lot of people think that if you find a file in File Explorer, right-click on it, and then left-click on the word delete, that that file is gone from their computer. That's not true. Unless you have your computer set a certain way, the file has gone to the recycle bin, not into cyberspace. The recycle bin is there to protect you from yourself, from accidentally deleting something that you really don't want to delete. So it has this special place in your computer called the recycle bin, and that's where files go if you select them and hit the delete key or right-click them and left-click on delete, unless you right-click on them and hold down the shift key and then left-click on delete. In that case, the file goes totally out of your computer. It is recoverable under certain circumstances and you can spend a lot of time Googling that and learning a lot. But for right now, you need to know that if you really want something gone, when you left click on delete, you better be holding down your shift key while you do it. To see what is in the recycle bin, I can hold down my uh, Windows key and scroll to the bottom and click Recycle Bin. That is because uh, I have pinned the Recycle Bin to my Start menu. If you have not done so, you can do so by going into your desktop and you should find the recycle bin in the upper left-hand corner of your desktop and right-click on it and click pin to, re pin to uh, start menu. And when you get here, you can restore everything that's in your recycle bin back to where it was originally. You can delete individual items by selecting them. You can restore selected files by selecting them and then clicking restore the selected files. But you shouldn't need to do this very often. Now, before I get into uh, actually deleting files, let me show you how to generally set up your computer for efficiently storing things. To do that, you go to Storage Settings. And to do that, you type your Windows key. You go down to Settings. And then when you get to settings, you click on system. And one of the things you see in system down here in the left menu is storage. And when you click on storage, you will see storage sense. Storage sense can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like temporary files and content in your recycle bin. And when you click down here, on, uh, you need to keep to turn that on, and then you need to click on Configure Storage Sense, 
or run it now. And here you have settings that you can pick. The one that you want is during low free disk space run storage sense. You can choose that to run storage sense every day, every week, every month, or when you have low disk storage. You also want to click and check this box that says delete temporary files for my apps that my apps are not using. And you then need to choose for yourself what you're going to do with files in the recycle bin. They can be deleted every 30 days. They can be deleted every day. I choose every 30 days to clean out my recycle bin. And you can also set whether or not to delete files in your downloads folder. I download a lot of things that people send to me as attachments to email, and some of them I want to keep forever. So I have this set to never. But you can also set it to a day, two weeks, a month, two months, your choice. So now we get to actual steps to delete files from your computer. And the first one I recommend you do is disk cleanup. Disk cleanup will allow Windows to show you files to delete and let you easily delete them. So how do you get there? Well, there are a couple of ways. You can go to the the search box where you simply type in what you want like uh, disk cleanup c l e a n u p you find that there it will ask you what drive you want to clean up you can pick the drive but it in most cases will be the C drive where your operating system is. And then you click OK. And it searches and gives you the disk cleanup box, we'll go, which I'll go into in a minute. But uh, there's another way to get there. You can go to Windows Explorer. here. And when you get to Windows Explorer, you can scroll down until you get the C drive. Then you can right click on the C drive and left click on properties. When you get to properties, it will show you how many gigabytes, etc. you have in the C drive and how many are used and how many are still available. And in the lower right corner, you see disk cleanup. And if you left click on that, it will take you to the same place. So you get here to disk cleanup, and you have a whole bunch of things that you can delete, like temporary internet files or delivery optimization files. You probably don't know what each of those are. So every time you click on one, it will tell you what that is. This is downloaded program files, and this tells you that downloaded program files are, et cetera, et cetera. You can uh, click another one, like, uh, the recycle bin, and it will tell you the recycle bin contains files you have deleted from your computer, etc. You can check any or all of these boxes, click OK, and you will get back the amount of files that 
it says here after you finish checking the boxes. I'm not going to do that on this computer because uh, I need to keep this to uh, revise this um, recording. So I will cancel out right now. Now, finally, we are going to select and delete some specific types of files. To select it, you want to hold down the Windows key and the R key on your computer, and that will bring up the run command. And the first thing you're going to type in there is T-E-M-P. Click OK. And you will get a large list of temporary files in your computer. Let your mouse hover over one of those files. And then type Control and A and it will select all the files in that folder. You then type the delete key on your keyboard and they will all be gone. Now you go back to the run box, Windows and R, and you type percent T E M P percent and enter and you get another set of temp files you hover over it once again you type control a to select them all hit the delete key and those temp files are gone Finally, you're going to go back and delete some files that your browser uses to communicate with the websites that you visit. And you go back again to the run box. This time you type in P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H. Hit enter or OK. And it may ask you, or it may say you don't have permission to delete these files or to deal with these files, you simply click continue and it will bring up the list of those internet files, temporary internet files that you want to delete. And you can uh, once again type control A, hit the delete key, and you are done. If you follow this whole thing through, you should have lots fewer files on your computer right now that were cluttering up and perhaps slowing down the process of whatever you wanted to do. I hope that helps. Good luck.